the 8th of September and I hope you're having yourselves a good day so far wherever you're watching us from. You can catch the show live here on Smart24 TV at 10.30 a.m. Uh, every weekday from Mondays, uh, of course, to Fridays. As we take you through the world of business, especially with investments in the different uh, segments of um, the financial markets, we are talking about the debt market. If you want to know about the stock markets here in Uganda, within East Africa, and all over the globe. This is the number one show that will bring you all the content you need in as regards investment. And my name is Anthony. You can now hit us up on our Twitter at Smart24TV. You can also uh, go to our YouTube live stream where you can comment in the comment section or you can catch us live on Go TV channel 394. And as well, right now, we are on DSTV channel 372. Thank you uh, for choosing to remain with us. And uh, of course, uh, we, today we have a very uh, action-packed show. Definitely, uh, we will be bringing you the latest content on the stock exchange. The stock market in Uganda opens at exactly 9 a.m. and closes at 1 p.m. and we always want to bring you the updates of the previous day of trading which companies were able to trade and uh, who are the gainers who gained in price who are those that lost who are the top movers all that and more information will always be coming up your way on the show today in a particular way we will also be hosting a very new entrant onto the stock exchange change uh, one of the people that has been of course long awaited for uh, in the in terms of um, of course trading on the stock exchange here in Uganda and this is none other than cheaper technologies now I'm going to be talking to miss Christine who is the leader of brokerage in Uganda and we are going to be talking about brokerage and more cheaper technologies was last week on Monday not this week but rather last Last week on Monday, he, she was be uh, one of the now new entrants onto uh, the Uganda Stock Exchange. Uh, they definitely deal in uh, brokerage, and uh, they are also a licensed uh, brokerage firm as well as securities central depository agent uh, now in Uganda, working at the Uganda Securities Exchange. Chipa being um, very specialized in technology, it's a financial technology. Uh, definitely we are hoping that uh, there is new technology, in technological innovations that are coming on board. They probably have new techniques that they're going to use and see that uh, people can be able to access stocks at their convenience. And of course, I'll be talking to her later on on the show. You should be looking up to that. And uh, definitely you can hear have any questions on cheaper and so on and so forth we will definitely get them answered here on the show uh, you can also get to buy yourself some stock as well I would just like to remind you the process a very simple and convenient process by the Uganda Securities Exchange number one the first step you need to do to be an owner of the biggest companies in Uganda that are listed on the exchange is to open yourself an SCD account. Now, what is an SCD account? This is a Securities Central Depository account. Just like any account, a mobile money account, a bank account, this is a store or a keeper of securities rather than money uh, that you would have maybe on a mobile money account or on a bank account. So if you are uh, aiming at getting yourself some securities, buying some treasury bonds, buying some uh, treasury bills, buying some stocks here in Uganda, it is one of the things you need to first and foremost uh, get in your uh, ring. You need to get them on your side of the ring. Definitely uh, the process has been made easier with time. And uh, right now uh, there's an option of using a USSD code if you're an MTN subscriber. Uh, because during the initial public offer of MTN Uganda, we had uh, several 
uh, people get uh, to open SCD accounts using the USSD code and uh, the methodology was actually maintained after the IPO. You can dial star 165 hash and then you go to option 5 and then option 7. Or you can actually just dial all at once, star 165, star 57 hash. And definitely straight up, you will be able to access uh, the uh, portal for filling in your identity, identification information, that is your national identification card number, or your passport identification number for those who are foreigners. But all in all, you can now use your phone to be able to uh, open this account under the SCD registry at the Uganda Securities Exchange. Uh, well, that's very exciting, but uh, for those of you who would still want to use the internet, you can visit uh, the Uganda Securities Exchange website at w, uh, www.ugandasecuritiesexchange.or.ug. And when you do, you look for the easy portal. Uh, this easy portal is where uh, you have where you, you're going to put your details. That is a picture of your national identity uh, identification number. Yeah, that is your uh, that's uh, your national identification card. Matter of fact, and then your profile photo or your passport photo. And within no time, the SCD account will be opened for you. The entire process, as I have mentioned it, is absolutely free of charge. Yes, it's absolutely free of charge. You don't need any money. You don't need any initial deposit. Unlike other accounts, like you cannot open a bank account without an initial deposit. Uh, with an SCD account, absolutely free of charge. No initial deposit, nothing like that. You just need to get on and uh, get started uh, with your investment journey today. Now, if it's your first time here, I welcome you, but you've missed out a lot. Uh, however, you are yet to see uh, things unfold on your screen. We have financial markets growing in Uganda each and every single day, and uh, you should be part of this drive. You don't want to be left behind. And when we talk about financial markets, we are literally talking about markets that unite borrowers and lenders of money or capital. And so... Uh, these are not complicated as they might seem at first sight, but uh, they help you utilize your savings, utilize that idle money that you're not going to need in the short term, in the long term and in the short term sometimes, for investments so that you can get a return on them. There's no single investor out there who would invest their money uh, just for the sake or just for charity. People invest to get a return, and that is the aim of these financial uh, markets. This is why they were engineered uh, for clients, for investors, to be able to make a return. But also with intermediaries uh, and regulators as well within the space so that uh, the markets can operate uh, smoothly for both parties, the borrowers and the lenders. Now, the two categories we look at mainly here on the show of these financial markets are number one, the stock market, which looks at companies that are listed on the exchange and they're seeking capital, they're seeking to grow, they're seeking to get uh, more funds to be able to produce more if they're manufacturing industries, to be able to expand and create more branches, for example, if they're financial institutions. And these uh, companies get to the public uh, to get this capital. How do they get this capital? Uh, they promise ownership and, of course, issue ownership of uh, these companies. Uh, they give away part of the company so as to collect more capital from the public. And uh, this is through what we call an initial public offer. And this initial public offer uh, gives us the very first time the company decides to go public. It's like you starting your own business and your business is doing good, your business is growing, but you need to, you need it to even grow further. What you do as, um, and as a business owner, uh, you decide to invite people into the company. You decide to invite share 
holders and these are people that are going to contribute capital by buying some units or by buying some ownership sort of within the company and definitely uh, this comes uh, with a cost uh, and this first time of course lasts a short time this is uh, called a primary market where we have a company getting listed for the very very first time and it happens for a specific period of time and here the issuer uh, of stock which is the company that is seeking the capital issues this stock to the public directly so the funds go into the company and that's how uh, the company is able to raise capital immediately after this first phase of the market which is the primary market or the initial public offer we move on to the secondary uh, market and this secondary market uh, works on forces of demand and supply and this is what we evaluate here on the show every single day of the week because markets open people start trading and markets close and we have uh, the closing prices we have the closing movements and so on on the market and this is these are what we analyze and break down so we can make predictions so we can make good decisions informed decisions as regards which companies we can invest in on the secondary market here now the public is able to buy shares or securities from people that have already been able to buy either on the primary market or still on the secondary market so you're seeing that now uh, the securities are, ex are being exchanged between the public and uh, of course other individuals uh, within the public so you're, you're just seeing transfer of securities from one person to another, from one institution to another person, and so many other uh, kinds of uh, deals that can be made. And this is all done with the help of um, an, an intermediate who is called a stock broker. And this stock broker um, comes in the middle of you uh, who wants to trade and the one who wants to buy and still with the exchange because uh, all listed companies um, get listed on what we call an exchange which is the market itself the company in charge of the market and that company is still regulated by the capital markets authority now on this secondary market and definitely we have changes every now and then we have people buying we have prices moving depending on the behavior of investors you know the cap that's how the market performs and this market is very important not only for investors and people buying shares but for the economy because it gives us a picture of how the entire economy is performing if if stocks are really performing poorly and uh, people are selling off you know and uh, the prices are going down it shows there's something happening in the economy so it is a market uh, indicator or an economic performance indicator that gives us a picture of what's really happening within the economy at least it gives us part of the picture if i may say uh, that but uh, this is a very important aspect uh, when it comes to investing you must uh, be able to understand how the secondary market works uh, but of course the stockbroker does most of the work for you now all you need to know is what am i investing in which companies am i investing in and why am i investing in these companies there must be rationale you don't wake up and invest in stanbic without any specific reason as to why you're investing in stanbic maybe it's your personal interest you're, you're interested in financial institutions and they're the ones you want to invest in or buy stock in maybe they're, they're going to declare dividends you'll see many people buying shares during that period when companies are declaring dividends and so on and so forth so different people invest for different reasons but in the end we are all looking at value addition we want the money we are putting aside to add we want that money to grow we want some value added to the money we are investing that is the primary goal of financial markets value addition to money that is put aside and that is put into the particular investments in uganda uh, currently we at the uganda securities exchange we have 18 listed companies among these we have eight that are cross listed from mainly the nairobi stock exchange and we have 
10 that are domestically listed or that are founded here in Uganda and uh, that are listed on the exchange. And so this is called the main investment market segment where we have the big companies, where we have MTN, Stanbeek, Wumeme, and all the other multi-million companies that we have on the exchange. Now, we have other segments, and of course, in Uganda, mainly we have those two. They, we have two segments, the main investment market segment and the growth enterprise market segment, or what we call the GEMS. Now, what's the difference between the GEMS and the main investment market segment? The main investment market segment, as we have said, is for the big boys, the boys that are multi-million, multi-billion companies are listed on the main board because they have a large share equity and uh, they operate with large capital. Now, for the growing businesses, for the small and medium enterprises, they also have their own segment, which is known as the growth enterprise market segment. This segment, unfortunately, hasn't seen much development within the recent years since it was uh, begun. However, we are seeing that uh, it's, it's going to be very important in the near future because many, many, many businesses in Uganda start up each and every day. We have venture capital uh, businesses like you're looking at Rocket Health, Jumia, uh, Safe Border, and all these other uh, venture capitals and financial technologies that are coming up in the recent years. And all these companies are seeking capital. They are seeking growth, much as they're not yet on the multi-million level uh, of the main board or the main investment market segment companies. So these companies should and have to list on the growth enterprise segment where they can still get capital. Now what I'm communicating here is to the business owners. If you're a business owner out there and you want to know the, the quickest way you can raise capital, the financial markets in particular, the capital markets are the way to go. These capital markets, like we call them capital markets, they are for companies seeking capital. And for individuals or investors willing to part with money for investing within these companies. When it comes to venture capital, of course, you're looking at startups that are promising uh, financially. They are startups that are financially promising. Financially, they look like they're going to make a very big deal uh, when it comes to profits, when it comes to growth, when it comes to social economic development, and so on and so forth. That's where we have the venture capital, right? Those venture capital firms invest in such startups, you know? Uh, but when you come to the growth enterprise market segment, you're looking at the public providing this particular capital that these companies are looking for in order to uh, grow and develop and see that they also become like the bigger companies and get listed as well on the main board or the main investment market segment. So in, in, in a, a nutshell, that is what we look at here on the show. And uh, please never get lost in the figures. Always, uh, these figures are very basic. They're just performance indicators and we monitor or analyze them in order to make the right decisions. Because as an investor, it is very important for you to make the right decision, an informed decision, so that if someone finds you tomorrow and asks you, why are you successful? You have a reason to explain that this is what I did with an informed uh, decision uh, that you are able to make. Now, uh, let's have a look at the stock market. Like I said, the stock market in Uganda opens at exactly 9 a.m. and closes at 1 p.m. When we look at uh, yesterday's stock markets, um, they uh, were actually, well, there was a better performance that was registered on the stock market yesterday. Uh, of course, with several gainers and losers on the market, uh, but we are seeing that generally there was a positive uh, performance uh, registered within the company uh, companies that were trading stock. Now, among the listed equities, or the 18 listed equities, uh, there were five equities that participated in trading, which is a fair number of equities to participate, because we have days where we have only one, we have days where we have two, uh, but yesterday five equities participated in the trading of securities, and among us, these five, uh, we, we had uh, several uh, companies come as uh, gainers and losers. Only two gainers were registered, and six losers 
were registered. On the gaining side, KCB Bank led the gainers by a 4.2% price valuation appreciation, closing the day with a price of 1,354.44 Ugandan shillings. Uh, we had Equity Bank Limited, the most valuable company that is listed on the exchange, come in the second position uh, with a price appreciation of a 3.62% uh, mark. And then it ended the day with a price of 1,586 Ugandan shillings. Those were the two top gainers. No uh, domestic equity, unfortunately, was on the gaining side, uh, but we had only those two cross-listed companies from Nairobi. On the losing side, still, we had seven losers, and the losers from the, the biggest loser from the bottom was um, National Media Group, NMG, who lost by 2.77% closing the day with a price of 564.62 Ugandan shillings. And then Stanbic Bank Uganda also came in as a loser at a 2.38% loss on the daily calculator and uh, closed the day with a 20.5 Ugandan shillings uh, stock price. And then we had Centum, Centum Investments cross-listed from Nairobi as well lost value by 2.15%, closing the day with a 304.51 Ugandan shillings closing price, uh, stock price. And then uh, East African Breweries Limited lost by 1.27%, closing the day with a price of 4,932.46. Jubilee. Holdings Limited was another loser at a 0.31% loss, closing the day with a price of 7,771.4. And then Kenya Airways lost by 0.31% and uh, lost to a price of 121.49 Ugandan shillings per share price. In terms of recorded volumes, uh, on the other side, we had the top mover as Stanbic. Stanbic yesterday traded a total volume of over 121,764 shares uh, on a single day. And then Bank of Baroda, Uganda also traded 63,600 shares. And Wumeme Limited traded 53,126 shares, whereas MTN Uganda traded 13,000 550 shares on the market yesterday. Well, when you just look at that, there wasn't a gain, I'm telling you, and, um, at least among us, the domestic equities, because I would want to always focus on the domestic equities first. Um, there was no single gainer on the market yesterday. However, uh, by volume, yes, we had some improvement. And uh, you can see Stanbic over trading over uh, 200,000 shares. Uh, you can see Bank of Baroda over 63,000 shares. Actually, Stanbic was over 120,000 shares. And then uh, Bank of Baroda, 63,000 shares. So in terms of volumes uh, that were traded, there was an improvement. So uh, we're seeing that uh, there's a bit of improvement as uh, we move forward uh, towards, uh, of course, our goals as an exchange to see that we have more investors. So uh, this volume really is a good market performance indicator uh, showing that uh, more people uh, bought shares yesterday and definitely uh, more investors participated in trading. And uh, this definitely uh, came out as uh, one of the things that helped us win over yesterday's trading. Now, regarding uh, the performance of the indices, the index uh, went up by over 16.36 uh, points. And therefore, uh, we are seeing an overall uh, better performance compared to the previous day of trading. We're going to take a quick breather. Uh, when we return, we get to analyze deeply Stanbic Bank, Wumeme, and also we will also look at MTN and see how they were able to perform in detail uh, from the year-to-date perspective, from the monthly perspective, and the, in terms of uh, the volumes that were traded. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the quick breather. Uh, my name is Anthony. Stay with us.